In this example, we are going to use an ingest pipeline to create a new field on the events being generated by metric beat. This new field can be used by the users on the operations team to decide if a specific host is being underutilized. As you can see here, metric beat has been enabled in this host call RIFRA. For this reason, metrics from this host are being collected, giving the configuration that has been done and the modules that has been enabled for that metric beat deployment. The system module has been enabled and one of the metric sets that are currently active are the process and process summary. The process summary metric set gives you an overview, or as the name implies, a summary of the current snapshot of how processes are being executed in the current host. We're going to use this data to come up with this new field that will help users about the underutilization of the host. Specifically, we're going to use the field total processes sleeping, and idle, and create a formula that basically adds the sleeping processes plus the idle processes and check whether this equals to the total processes. If that formula equals to true, that means that without any doubt, the host has been underutilized. The best way for you to start developing a ingest pipeline is to get yourself familiar with the structure of the document being generated by metric beat. For this reason, go ahead and use the discover option on Kibana to inspect the structure of the documents generated by metric beat. Keep in mind though, that if you simply try to search all the documents for the index pattern from metric beat, you are going to have documents that don't necessarily include the information about the process summary. Therefore, we need to filter only the documents that belongs to the metric set process summary. The best way to do this in Kibana is to create a filter by using the field metric set dot name and checking if this field equals to the metric set that you want to evaluate. In this case, we're going to check whether metric set name equals to process summary. Once the filter applies into your search, you are going to see only documents that include the metric set process summary. Let's pick this first document to inspect the structure of it. A handy feature that Kibana offers you is this options here where you can click to view this document as a single document so go ahead and click and view single document so you can visualize how this document is structured. If you scroll down to the bottom of this document, you're going to see that all the information from the process summary are structured on these fields that has a prefix system.process.summary. Specifically, we are going to use the fields idle, sleeping, and total. Before leaving the document visualization, go back to the top of it and take a note of the ID and index of this document. This is going to be useful when we start developing the ingest pipeline. To develop the ingest pipeline, Go to the Stack Management option on Kibana and click on the link in Jest Node 
pipelines. Then click on create a pipeline. The first step is to give a meaningful name for this ingest pipeline. For this example, I am going to use check under utilization. Then add one or multiple processors into this ingest pipeline. The ingest pipeline is going to execute all the processors that you specify here on the top to bottom order. Click on add a processor to include your first processor. Since we are intending to add a new field into the document, we need to use the processor call set. The set processor expects you to specify which field is going to be added and we are going to call this field current.status. And we are going to set the value under utilize it into this field. However, we're not going to simply set under utilize it for the field current status for any document that has been generated by metric beat. We're going to do this conditionally. There are a few conditions that needs to be set before we instruct the processor to actually set the value under utilize it into a field called current.status. The condition in this case is going to be an expression written in the painless language that specifies that first we need to check if the metric set name equals to process summary. This is important because not all the documents are going to include the fields that we're going to use as a criteria here. We're going to also check if the total processes equals to the number of processes being idle and sleeping. If this expression happens to be true, then the value under utilize is going to be set into a field called current.status. Once you do this, go ahead and click in the button Add to conclude the inclusion of your processor. Optionally, you can always provide a meaningful name to your processor. A very handy feature that Kibana provides for users that are developing ingest pipelines is to perform a quick test in the ingest pipeline before completing the creation. You can use this feature by clicking here on this option Add Documents, where you can either include the documents that you want to sample here manually, or you can click on this option Add a test document from a index. This is the reason why we've told you before to take a note of the index name and the document ID of the document sample that we were visualizing. So go ahead and set the index name that you want to pull the document from, as well as the document ID that represents the sample that you would like to test. And then click Add Document. Kibana will automatically pull that document from Elasticsearch and include the sample here. Then you can use this document for testing purposes by running the pipeline. As you can see here, the pipeline has been executed. And if we inspect the document that has been generated, you are going to see that a new field called current status has been added to the document and the value under utilize it has been set, proving that our ingest pipeline is working as expected. Then you can go ahead and click Create Pipeline. That concludes the creation of the ingest pipeline on the Kibana side. Now let's change the metric bit configuration to start using the ingest pipeline that we just created. The first step is to stop the execution of metric bit if it is being currently executed. 
Then go to your metric bead configuration file and go to the session where you configure your output for Elasticsearch. Under output.elasticsearch, just include the parameter pipeline and then set the name of the pipeline that needs to be used while Elasticsearch is going to index any documents generated by metric beat. Once you do this, you can go back to the, your metric beat and start executing it again. Once metric beat starts, you can go back to Kibana so we can check whether this change had effect or not. In Kibana, now you can check if the new documents that has been stored in Elasticsearch are including or not the new field called current.status. First, make sure that you are still using the filter that only shows the documents whose metric set name equals to process summary. Then click on refresh and then pick one of the documents for inspection and click on view single document. As you can see here, this document includes the field current.status and has been successfully set to underutilize it. 